Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's early. Today, we're heading into Kingston to link up with your boy Brian, aka Bebo. But before we do that, let me introduce you to two products your boy got from Max Speeding Rods. Again, you know what I mean? It's the hookup. Alright, peeps. So, one, this one is a tailpipe or a muffler expander. You know what I mean? So, you know, for modifications we are doing with. Um, either intercooler pipings or even just a regular exhaust system you know what I mean this will come in handy to expand the pipe you know get them for fit different how you want you know what I mean now this um, should be pretty self explanatory you know what I mean we plan to do some custom work on some spraying so you know max speed in sent over the spray gun for your boy comes with all the necessary stuff yeah yeah peeps so if you all want to buy these items description will have the links to both of these head on over there code red gear 15 percent off link up purchase let's get into the vlog Brian, known to you guys, better known as Bebo. I drive a 1997 Acura Integra. This car has a K20 A2, uh, pistons and rods, valve spring retainers. Very simple setup. We have 13 inch rims. We use 24 and a half by nine inch tires. Just love Integra's. Integra, ever, ever since I got an Integra, Integra's been my type of car to drive. And I've had them all. I've had EGs, EKs, EF, everything. Integra's what I prefer. A Chevy S10 with a K-Series. I've had an MR2 with a K-Series. I've had an EG hatch. K-Turbo. Um, I've had an EK. I've had EF with H22. EG with H2B. So far, K-Series have been my favorite and Integra has been the favorite, so the combination just came together good. What got me into racing? Well, I've been, I've been dealing with cars a long time and my step pops used to be a mechanic, so I used to always be around the shop and I just started picking up tools and cars have been the thing since then. We have, I think we have basically everything only thing the car is missing is a sleeve block. We have, uh, all right, the engine is pistons and rods, there's no sleeves, has cams, valve spring retainers, um, twin disc clutch, axles, gearbox, you know, billet shifter and cables, roll bar, traction control, boost by gear, um, AEM dash, AEM ECU, we have fiberglass doors, fiberglass front, Lexan windows, the front windshield is glass, um, carbon fiber hood, uh, tubular radiator support, weight bar. I think we did a, 
a pretty, pretty decent job in getting everything together. And the project took, like, I would say like six, seven months to get it all finalized and get it to go. I don't think, I don't think there's anything that I love the most. I just, I love the car. Like, I think I had a white one like this and that, but that one was a K24. And I just think I got rid of it too fast before I got to fall in love with it. But this, after driving it and watching everything come together, like I just love the car. There's nothing most I love about it. It's just the car as a whole. Um, as far as building, it was a car. We did most of the work in my backyard. Like, you know, I had a lot of free time, so we put the engine in and stuff like that. The shell was a shell I got from one of my boys. He was throwing the shell away. So I just took the shell, I put the shell in my backyard and we just started gathering parts for it. And fabrication wise, Performance Motorsports did most of the fabrication for me, like putting on the weight bar, um, doing all the intercooler piping, up pipes and all that stuff like that. Yeah, my boy Amadi hooked that up for me. Um, currently, right now, on horsepower, it's making eight and change. We're, we're using uh, with Renegade gas, a gas from Renegade. So we're currently talking to them as far as gas, because he says he's, he's producing, he produced a new gas that he wants us to use, so we'll change the injectors and we'll try that gas when we come back, see if we can make a little bit more power. And remind you that it is stock sleeves, it's not a sleeve block. So 800 is already up there. Yeah, I respect Brad as a racer because, you know, even though he probably saw the graph or he saw this and he saw that, you know, and even even though he they know how much power the car made, he just, I guess he just wanted to gauge himself, you understand? And that's so respectable because even after we raced, there was no shit talking and I told him straight up, there's no need for me to talk shit because he wasn't on the list and he just came over. Well, he got he got in contact with me through Michael and he told Michael like, yo, I want to try that car. And it's respectable, it's just a race, you know what I mean? You're not gonna win them all. I, I told people right, I'm not gonna win every race. But the people that I really want to race, I'll make sure that the car, it's on its end to race that person. So if that shit break during racing that person, as long as I win, I don't care. And there's, there's people that, that I really want to race. Like I really, really want that person, you know? I don't want to say I don't want to say it anymore because then you're gonna make them famous. They know who they are. As long as they come up with that money, and we race and call it a day. And those are the people I like. I want it. Like you know, most of the persons out there already kind of know. Yeah, they know who they are. They know who they are. There's there, there's no need to, to give them any type of clout because that's what they're looking for. There's guys that made my made big things that they want to race me and. As a car come out of the container, I want that person to make him, make him come, blah, blah, blah. Hey, the car's out of the container. And we told you we wasn't racing for free, and you keep coming with the free racing. It's, it's not happening. You know, and I don't need to race you for free to beat you because to me, you're a nobody. So simple, just come with your money and we can make it happen. Yeah, put up or shut up. It's just that simple. And the people that we wanted to race, the people that said that they was fiending for the car to come, all of a sudden, those people's cars need parts now. And they've had more than enough time. More than enough time to get their car together. More than enough. So what motivated me to bring the car is like, you know, I'm selling parts here, so I'm meeting all your racers and I, I, I'm pretty sure that I've met like uh, most, I haven't met everyone or I know everyone in drag racing here. I probably heard their names, saw their face and stuff like that. And you know, a couple of the people were like, yeah, bring a car, bring a car, bring a car that, I guess they don't know who I was before or, or like they felt like I just started bringing parts and I wasn't racing. So then, you know, you had a couple of people threatening me and when I saw their car, I was like, bro, me and you are in two different leagues. Like you can't just come and say, oh, I want to race you, I want to do things to you, and you can't no, meet the 13th second class yet. So it's like, come on, you know? So then I just made up my mind and said, I'm gonna just, you know, build a car, start putting something together and just fly it in or ship it in. So then the car got completed. We uh, 
I reached out to a broker, he applied for the permits and he got everything, you know. Nick Lou introduced me to that guy, so he, he kind of played a part and helped us get in the car here as well. K-Series is, K -series is the absolute best. And I'll tell you, I had them all. I had H22 before. When I had H22, nobody couldn't tell me nothing bad about H22. Like, that was the thing. And then one day, my boy had a K24, and it was a stock motor. And uh, we went to race, and he was like, yo, drive the car for me. And I drove the car, and then the day after that, I just started to sell all my H22 stuff. And then KK was the only way from then. I mean, as you can see now, you know, K swapped the world. They put Ks in everything. For real, K, K is the only way. Yeah, I mean, big up to everybody who helped me get this car where it needs to be. Everybody, the, the list is very, very long. Extremely, extremely long. It's, it's, it's not just me. I don't want y'all to see the car and think it's just Bebo that did the car. The list is long. I have a lot of people behind me, you know what I mean? And big, 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 big shout out to my tuna. He gave me the power from bed the other night, you know? He was in his bed laying down and he said, just do a pull and he made it happen. He, he, he really, really made me happy the other night. Trust me. Randy RS Tech. So the business is Bebo's Distribution. We offer most performance parts, swap parts, turbos, anything like that, um, doors. If you have a Civic or Integra and you want to make it go fast, here's the place to come. We, we offer all the parts for that. And if we don't have the part, we can special order it and send it in for you. We're in downtown Kingston, close to Central Police Station, off of East Queen Street.
Are the hottest. Yo, now I'm going to tell you nothing about this Yo, shit. Man, get this. Man, get this. You know, get it? Yeah. I lie. Jaja, God. Yo, but I'm telling you from. I'm telling you on camera. This, by far, is the hottest. Hottest fucking guy I've ever seen.
it up before we go anywhere. It was the best, best thing for you shipping this shit out here, fam. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yo, people, everybody I got it. <laughs> this shit. You know what's up? Yo. The normal. Bebo. Yo, you miss like this eclipse everything I've seen so far, fam. Yeah, man. We are gonna do what we have to do. We are gonna do what we have to do. Everything we say we are gonna do. Yeah. We are gonna do. We are do it in a stage. So just don't make the money get too excited. Don't have to just wait and see what I gonna go on. Yeah, people. When I feel, when I feel wait, you know, yo, smoke still come out of the car. Brother, <laughs> me I tell you, it's like my last words now, fam. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, man. A bad thing. A bad thing. For real. For real. Mm -hmm. So people. Next time we take off your door, cause it's hot in here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> People, yo, yo, uh huh, this, yo, don't make the naysayers talk shit about this. Bam. Trust me, and I know I'm good. This, yo, right now, people, you make me feel like. I can't go any caden, bro. This is simple shit, bro. Simple, simple stuff. Yeah, I know that I know where you are. We can just come in and then you can start build up your parts, build up your car. Yeah. Shit. Bum. I don't know me I try to think what. I try to get our words, you know. And yeah. this is a gas we didn't bring, we're using Jamaica's gas. Yeah. A renegade gas. A renegade gas, people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jamaican made, right? Yeah, Jamaican made, Jamaican made. Guys. And we use a person here for the wheel, like Chris. the guy on South Camp Road. I don't know. Chrisley? Chrisley. Chrisley. Chris. Chris. We use Presley to align the car. A person to align the car for us here. Yeah. And we use a uh, stoplight dyno. Mm. And we dyno the car over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, stoplight, you know, the famous, yeah. the famous. That's where majority of us, you know. Yeah, the majority of the cosmic power over there. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, it's not nothing too spectacular, you know what I mean? It's shelf parts, it's, not, it's nothing crazy. Yeah. What? You, you, yep. You're off a sure fire. Mute off a fire. I see you at the company. Yo, right now, to go. right now, we're not telling if it's going go up in our Jeep. Yeah, go up in our Jeep right now. Yeah, man. Should do it for you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. Well, put it back in and Yo, big put it on the road. Still. Put it on the road Did and I bring it back home. Yeah? Appreciate yeah. it. Drop your fire, we are glad to give you an opportunity, you know? Mark? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, in there, you give me back my license in there. Put the car in the shop. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Put the car in the shop. Put the car in the shop. First, first. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away. Right away. Right away. This one has a different vibe, yo. Bebo. Bro. Crazy. Yo, we don't know what else to say, brother. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, one thing I wanted to say though, bro. I appreciate you bringing it into the country. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, our, our racing press needed this too, you know what I mean? Spice on up a bit, you know, live in the place because you always they talk about that shit, but they don't show up, you know what I mean? Oh, so, we see. Oh, no, you see? We see. Yeah, so the fact that you, you ship the car in, you know what I mean, just just shows how serious you are, you get me? Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Definitely, I have to have to be up again, you know what I mean, for taking the time out from, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
show me around and bro. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I mean Bebo's distribution, Bebo's distribution people. Well, he already stated earlier in the vlog, you know, the location, all the stuff he provides, you know what I mean? So you know don't know. Make sure to come support the thing, you know what I mean, support the boss. Spending the money, so you can, you know what I mean? We're gonna go for us. Oh, just like that. Anything else you wanna say? To we're starting anyone else? We're starting to build a little team. So I have a couple of people around me that wanna go fast. So we're starting to put up put together a little boss for these guys as well. Alright. So you you on your team? Planning on dominating? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to become the top. Alright. That's the goal. Alright, Jamaica and everywhere else. Y'all heard it from the man himself. He's coming to dominate. Who is out here to defend it? You know what I mean? So you know what I mean? Another vlog. If you love what you see, like, share, subscribe. You see me? See you guys on the next one.